Yeah, hi there, this is uh, tuxocho.com again. Welcome on my video channel. With the uh, review of uh, On One Photo Raw, that was already the uh, third software product which has a routine called Sky Replacement or maybe a slightly different name. But uh, all of these uh, software tools, namely here on One Photo Raw, of course, Lumina Neo and Photoshop CC can uh, swap the sky in images so you get a maybe a completely different image or you will support the impact of the image for your own work. So it would be interesting to make a comparison where all the different tools are there and if there are any problems swapping the uh, sky into the images. So let's go to the uh, computer and make a comparison. Okay, first let's uh, start with uh, On One Photo Raw, which I did uh, a review on last week or two weeks ago. And maybe we start with this image over here. Go to Sky. Now he has to prepare the mask. And we swap the clouds. And there we have the result. And let's take a view at least at 100%. Maybe we take even more. And as you can see here in the small leaves and branches, that looks uh, yeah pretty good for the job uh, on one photo raw did. And here in between the gaps, uh, that looks pretty good. Okay, we cancel this. Go to uh, Lumina Neo and go here to the same image. Go to edit, of course, sky and swap the sky. Now we swap the sky and we take a look on a 100% view or maybe even a 200% view. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, maybe around here, the little tiny marks here. We can prove that if that is a problem with the masking. Okay, let's go to 200% again. Oh, that's 300, 200 should be enough. And let's swap the sky a little bit. And then you can see here that is uh, pretty bright here. So I think there is a mask error in Lumina Neo, but uh, that's very small. So that might be a scepter. Okay, we go back to the catalog, revert those changes I made. And now we go to Photoshop. Okay, now we go here to edit, sky replacement, and uh, let's take a very similar cloud image like this one here and go to the 100% view or even 200% view. And as you can see here, that's masked out very good, I think. If I should make up uh, first and second place and so on, I think uh, first place is Photoshop. Pretty equal with uh, on one photo row on and uh, Lumina Neo is on the second place. Okay, let's close that. Go back to on one. I'm looking for another one. Oh, like that. Okay, go to that one. Go to sky and maybe we do a dramatic sky this time. Okay, that looks dramatic. Okay, and do a 200% view. It seems that there are some yeah small edges here, like here you see that here, which are from those branches which go into the uh, cloud uh, portion of the image. Maybe we'll change the cloud image this time to see if that is uh, a problem with the uh, cloud image. And I guess that was a problem with the cloud image. But if we take another one, that looks pretty good. Like so. That's very good, I think. Okay, we cancel that one and go to Luminar Neo. Go to the same image here, go to edit and do a swap sky here. And maybe we do or we try a dramatic sky here again with uh, Lumina Neo. And of course, we do a 100% or 200% view. Oh, that's a bit too much. Okay. But as you can see here, I think here in that case,
Lumina Neo is definitely doing the better job. Okay. At least compared to uh, on one photo raw with the uh, dramatic sky. Yeah, that that's uh, working pretty uh, pretty good. Okay, we cancel that. Revert the adjustment I did and open that image in Photoshop. Okay, edit scar replacement and maybe this time we try another dramatic sky like this one and do an enlargement or a view on 200 percent and here i think that uh, photoshop and lumina neo on on the uh, first place that's pretty clean here. Some tiny, but uh, it's so tiny it doesn't even is viewable. And you, if you view the uh, complete image, so that is uh, pretty good. Okay, that was another example. Do a close now. Now we go back to on one photo raw and go back to this folder. And now we do this one here. You can see these uh, power lines and the pole here. We do a sky replacement on this one and just regular clouds okay they are pretty dramatic and contrasty yeah that's sort of working here on on one photo raw but as you can see here that uh, at least the power lines are not m masked as part of the image they're just uh, blown away by the cloud image and here the pole doesn't seem to fit that either it's still there but it's uh, Look, looks a little little bit jerky, I think. Okay, we do a cancel here. Go to Lumina Neo, take the same image and do a sky replacement and just a regular blue sky in this case. Okay, did that one. And as you can see here, okay, the, you got some of the power lines, uh, but uh, here parts of the pole are missing, that's even worse. So at this point, I think that is not usable. So we go back to the catalog, revert the changes and uh, open that one up in Photoshop. Okay, go to edit, sky replacement. And this time we just do just a regular blue sky with uh, some clouds and go to 100% view or even 200% view. And as you can see here, Okay, here parts of the power lines are still missing if I... Oh, it's not that good, it's... Yeah, let's call it acceptable, but that's uh, all about to it. So this is uh, an image where all the programs will struggle and will not find the correct portions of the image to mask out for the sky replacement. As you could see in the comparison, there are some yeah, image or and or sky combinations where all the software tools uh, struggle and have problems to properly mask out the uh, sky like you saw here in the uh, one image where those uh, little branches and uh, little leaves on the branches made a problem. There were hollows around those parts of the image and uh, mainly it's uh, if you take a pretty contrasty sky and have a lot of uh, tiny details in the image it's uh, likely that the uh, ma masking out or the AI support of the uh, software tool will, will fail. But uh, mainly the um, AI supported sky swapping tools in the different programs like Lumina Neo, Photoshop and Anwar Photo Raw work pretty good even though if you take images with little tiny details but uh, you have to consider and be aware of the fact that uh, making this that is a manipulation of the image so you might as well go not that far to let's say take an image and uh, swap the sky to a completely night view or uh, a star view which you can 
do here in this area I'm in here because of the uh, light emission from the uh, town you might won't see the uh, stars in the sky so that would be a manipulation that I wouldn't do but if you do that or use the uh, function of the AI and the different software tools uh, it's of course up to you but uh, I I would uh, fairly at least think that you might as well give a hint if you post a manipulated image like that that you say that you did a sky swap with uh, Lumina Neo on one photo raw or Photoshop CC. As you could see there are all some combinations where the uh, software completely fails like mainly um, on the power poles and power lines as you could see here in the example and on my blog I have an example where even Photoshop CC which did a pretty good job here in the uh, video completely failed in uh, another image in another sky okay if you have any questions to this you might as well place them in the comments to this uh, video or in the comments of the corresponding blog post and if this uh, video was a little bit helpful to you you might consider placing a like on the video and I surely would appreciate if you subscribe my channel, but then don't forget to hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, that was my little comparison on the uh, different uh, sky swapping or replacement tools in the uh, different software like on one photo raw, Photoshop CC and of course Lumina Neo. And all I have to say till the next time, ciao, tux auch.